What's going on guys? Infinite Lists here back with another video and we're going to be talking about the top five secrets from Starbucks that not a lot of people know about. Now Starbucks, if you don't know what that is, um, I don't know where you are living, but Starbucks is a coffee place. It's a very popular coffee place. You go there in the morning, get your daily dose of coffee, get your daily dose of caffeine. Yeah, you get started with your day. I'm pretty sure my mom goes there every day. I, I rarely go there but it's a it's a really nice it's a really nice place it's uh, got a nice vibe to it. some some Starbucks have a very cool inside area which is awesome and I like their sandwiches as well but there are some secrets out there from Starbucks that I honestly didn't know about and I think you guys would like to hear them but before I start the video make sure you are subscribed to the channel and comment down below if you are subscribed and and I might actually reply to you I've been replying to so many people who say that they are subscribed so make Make sure to do that. We're almost at 700,000 subscribers. That's crazy. If we can get a million by the end of the year, I, I don't know. That, that has always been my dream since I was like 12 years old. Um, well, actually hitting 100K was my, was my dream and then a million was like, there's no way that's gonna happen. We're making it happen. Like this is so crazy. Thank you guys so much for all the support. But but yeah, drop a like on this video. Let's try to get 5,000 likes. That would be amazing, guys. And yeah, let's get right into the first secret. All right, on the first secret, it's kind of like a life hack actually for Starbucks. I do this a lot because I I just know of it, and it's a really cool life hack for Starbucks and for anything really. But if you're at Starbucks and you're ordering a iced drink make sure to order light ice say if you ordered like a caramel latte iced then they're gonna put a lot of ice in that drink which makes it less coffee and more ice which is basically less drink so you're gonna get a lot less drink if you don't ask for light ice so make sure to ask for light ice or just less ice that way they'll put a lot less ice and a lot more drink which is what you want you want to get what you're paying for which is like four or five dollars for these tiny little drinks so definitely ask for light ice but on our next Starbucks secret this one's kind of actually a good thing that Starbucks does in a way um, but Starbucks actually donates a hundred percent of the leftovers that they don't use um, to the hungry so I'm guessing Starbucks does have a lot of leftovers at the end of the night or the end of the week and so they donate all of that to the hungry but in a way that could be bad because I mean food does go bad but I'm not sure how they do it exactly I'm guessing they would throw out the uh, bad food but I mean, sometimes you can't actually tell if food goes bad, but I hope they have a way of telling. I think that is pretty cool that um, they do donate 100% of the leftovers, like the sandwiches, the pastries, all that stuff. Not not the coffee, I don't think, but just like the pastries and the sandwiches and like the muffins and all that stuff, they donate to the hunk, which is really cool to them. They don't just throw it away. At my old job, I used to work at a pizza place. They actually just threw away everything. Even if it was good, they just threw it away and we were kind of like, whoa, like we could have eat that, but no, they just threw it away. I don't know why, but so they donate all their food, which is a, uh, which is pretty cool. But on to our next one, we have the pumpkin spice latte. Now, this is a very famous drink. One of their most famous drinks that they make is the pumpkin spice latte, the PSL. Yes, the famous PSL. Well, um, a former employee actually said that the pumpkin spice latte actually doesn't contain any pumpkin in it and it's just uh, sugar and chemicals mainly. So that is kind of crazy. One of their most popular drinks has the word pumpkin in it, but there's actually no pumpkin in the drink whatsoever. It's, it's just artificial chemicals which is kind of crazy to me because it, it tastes like a pumpkin, but it's just it's just flavoring. It, it's it's kind of weird, kind of crazy to know that there's actually no pumpkin in that drink and it's such a famous drink. I got like two pumpkin spice lattes last year, but I mean, they're, they're good, you know? They're just a, just a pumpkin-y drink. You're just drinking chemicals, but what can they do, you know? But on to our next one. Starbucks actually doesn't only sell coffee. Um, they sell a lot of other drinks as well, like tea. They sell a lot of tea actually on their website they have a full giant section just just of their tea 
flavors. They have like black tea, green tea, white tea, herbal tea, all the teas you can basically think of. They sell them. And that actually is a large money maker for the actual company. Now, Starbucks actually gets 26% of their revenue from products that are not beverages. So like pastries or sandwiches or muffins or cookies. 26% of all their money is made from that, which is kind of crazy. That's like one fourth of their company is actually made not from coffee, which is which is kind of crazy to think about. Just the other day, I only ordered a sandwich. Like I didn't even order coffee. So I, I understand that if you're hungry and you want one of those like, you know, low fat turkey meat sandwiches, you know, they're, they're really good. It's just a, a good snack. So I do understand that, but, but it's just crazy how much money that these sandwiches actually make for them. And Starbucks actually used to have their logo saying Starbucks coffee, but they actually dropped the coffee part of the logo in 2011 because, you know, obviously they're not just coffee. They're selling tea and sandwiches and all that stuff. So they wanted to drop it, which was a pretty crazy thing to do because it's such a famous logo. You know, Starbucks coffee, it's a very famous logo, a very well-known logo. But on to our last secret. the uh, A lot of these Starbucks coffee actually has a lot of calories in it. So if you're if you, you know, you're trying to diet, you're trying to lose that weight. I would stay away from Starbucks and coffee in general, but actually many of the Frappuccinos at Starbucks are 400 calories. Now that is a lot of calories for just a little drink. And that is in the 20 ounce, by the way. So a 20 ounce Frappuccino is 400, but the double chocolatey chip Frappuccino is 500 calories. So these are packing a lot of calories. So I would definitely stay away from these if you're on a diet, but I just want to compare these calories. So a Big Mac and a Coca-Cola at McDonald's is 810 calories. So let's say you get a double chocolate chip frappuccino that's 500 calories and you get a little, you know, sandwich. That's the same amount of calories as McDonald's, Big Mac, and Coca-Cola. So you kind of think that you're being healthy, but you're really not. You're actually basically just eating McDonald's. Just think that is almost a thousand calories in that tiny meal at Starbucks when your body typically needs only 1800 to 2200 calories a day. You're basically eating half your day's worth of calories in one little Starbucks meal. So that is just so crazy to me. I've drank that Frappuccino and I've eaten that sandwich one day and that was a lot of calories and I did not know that. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. The top five Starbucks secrets that you guys may have not known. Definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy this. If you guys want more secrets about, you know, big companies or big things that you guys do, definitely drop a like and leave a comment below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Embrace for